Hi, this is Ankur and today we're going to talk about Sheets. Sheets? 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 Google Sheets or Excel Sheets or any other spreadsheet software that floats your boat. Oh, Sheet! I'm going to quickly go over the basics so you can follow what comes next. Spreadsheets are applications that allow you to organize and store data in a tabular format. There can be multiple sheets in your file and you can add, delete, hide or rename these sheets as you like. Horizontal bars in the table are called rows and vertical bars are called columns. Rows are typically numbered in digits like 1, 2, 3, 4 or up to 100 or 1000 or 10,000 or as many as you need and columns are numbered from A to Z and then from AA to Z and from AAA to Z and so on and so forth. You can hide rows and columns or insert and delete or freeze certain rows and columns so that you can always see them at the top or the left even when you scroll away. Each table is made out of cells that can store textual or numerical values or the result of a formula. The address of each cell is basically its column number followed by its row number. For example, the top leftmost cell is A1. Textual values can be anything from your name to your address or email IDs to the name of your favorite movies or songs and so on. Numerical values can be a phone number or just a regular number, a date, a time, a monetary value and so on. Quick tip, if you are trying to enter a textual value but the software is treating it as numerical, you can add an apostrophe at the start to force the software to treat it as a text. An example would be when you are trying to enter a bank account number with zeros at the start but the software removes the zeros because mathematically it doesn't make sense for a number to have zeros at the start. You can add an apostrophe at the start of that to force the software to treat it as a text and therefore the zeros will remain. Oh shit! Let's see what's some of the stuff that you can do on sheets. Obviously you can use it uh, to make lists and you can also use it as a calculator by using formulas. Formulas help you calculate stuff based on the values in other cells. They usually start with an equal to sign but it can be a plus sign or a minus sign as well. So obviously you can add, you can subtract, you can divide, multiply, find percentages but also you can find out the maximum or minimum value of a range or the average value in a range and a lot lot more. This is something I made in my free time. If you want to beautify your sheets, you have the usual font options like bold, italics, strike through, font color, alignment, etc. But you can also play with the border styles, add background colors to the cells, merge two or more cells and wrap the cells. What's wrapping you ask? Usually longer text runs out of the cell margin. But if you select this text wrapping option, the text can be contained within the box with the software automatically increasing the height of the row to accommodate. You can also rotate the text if you want. This is sometimes useful when your column has small data but the title takes up a lot of space. By rotating, you can make the column thinner and be able to see more at a glance on your sheet. On Google Sheets, you can add links to your cells and you can add notes or comments. The difference between notes and comments is that notes get copied when you copy and paste the cell. So if you copy and paste a cell with a note, the note gets copied. But if a cell has a comment and you copy and paste that cell, the comment does not get copied. However, in comments, you can tag and assign other people, which you can't do with notes. There is a tool called the Format Painter, which lets you copy the format of a cell and paste it onto a different cell. There are a few other special ways where you can select exactly what you want to paste out of the stuff that you've copied. For example, you might only want to paste the value and nothing else or just paste the formula or just the format or the column width and so on. Sometimes you want to convert your rows into columns. You can do this with the paste transposed function. This converts all your rows into columns and your columns into rows. Try it out sometime. Oh shit! You know how it's fun to highlight things in different colors on paper? You can do something similar on sheets. With conditional formatting, you can choose to format a cell depending on the data in it. For example, you might want to set a rule where if the value of the cell is no, it should be in red 
and if the value is yes, it should be in green. Or maybe you want to distinguish between dates in the future from the dates in the past or you want to see larger sums of money in bold and smaller ones in italics. You can do n number of things with these conditional formatting options. So go ahead. Have you ever tried to dial someone only to realize that the number that you have is one digit shorter than it should be? You can avoid problems like this on sheets by using data validation. It's basically like a check for the data being entered to make sure that it is as expected. You can create checks for valid email IDs or URLs or make sure that a number is lesser than or greater than a particular value and so on. You can even create a list of items for the user to select from either by inputting it yourself or by selecting it from a range on your sheet. If the value entered does not follow the rule, you can choose to either reject it or simply show a warning. Sometimes you have like a lot of data on the sheet and you only want to look at a part of it. You can use filters for this to quickly look at only what's relevant to you. Simply select your data range and click on the filter button. Then use the drop down in the top row and select which items you want to show or not show. When you're done, you can choose to show everything again or remove the filter to have things be the way they were before. You can also use this to sort your data according to any of the columns, either in ascending order or descending order. On Google Sheets, sometimes you have multiple users on the same sheet. So it can be a little impolite to use filters because it affects how the sheet appears to the other users as well. For this situation, you can use filter views which allow you to create a filter view just for yourself. Meanwhile, the other users will be seeing the sheet as though it wasn't filtered. You can also save different filter views and come back to them later. Well, that's all from me today. Hope you learned something useful that you can try out in your day to day. This is me signing off. Bye bye. Oh shit!